because it was like a nice day. It's pretty sunny, but it's really windy. And I just wanted to go outside and like see what's going on. I forgot to film myself in the store, but I ended up getting some eye drops because my eyes have been really dry. And I specifically bought the ones for contacts because I wear my contacts at least like five or six days out of the week. All right, so these are the eye drops that I got. Um, CVS is having like a sale on the Refresh brand. This is the earliest I've ever gone out of the office. Um, and we basically are let go after the last patient gets there. So today is Monday and I think I got out at 5, 14. That is literally the earliest. So I'm gonna go home today um, and write my soap note because I have some extra time. And also I saw a pretty good amount of like cases, like interesting cases besides strep throat and like the flu and stuff. So I think it would be nice for me to write a note on one of those patients. Hi guys, so I just got home um, and I literally forgot what my room looked like. I just changed my bed sheets for Chinese New Year, so the old ones are on the floor. Yeah, I literally forgot what my room looked like because I haven't been here in two weeks, which does not seem like a super long time, but I like looked in here and something just looks so different. I don't know. Good morning guys, I feel like I have not vlogged in a little bit. I went home this weekend for Chinese New Year, came back, and then yesterday was Monday, so I had my first shift of the week. This morning I woke up and like my nose was running. I don't particularly feel sick, I just feel very tired. And then my eyes were watering a lot, so I grabbed the emergency packet so um if i need to then i will use this water bottle and drink the emergency because like even right now my eyes just feel like they're burning um and i put a ton of eye drops in because i thought it was just my eye being irritated from me putting my contacts in honestly i work with sick kids every single day they're literally coming in with strep throat um, vinyl virus, RSV, like all of these things. So I don't want to get sick, but it, there's a very high chance that I could be. Okay, so um, today was the last day for two of the students that I was working with and they've been there since I first started. So they kind of showed me the ropes and everything. And um, they brought in bagels today for, the la for their last day, which was so nice of them. And then tomorrow I still have another shift. So I'm going to be on my own. <laughs> And we're gonna see how that goes because there are a lot of patients and I don't know if I'll be able to go into all of them just because like it's just not physically possible if I want to get my own like physical exam done. But it's just sad because I've been with them for so long and then now they're not there anymore. But um, I hope that they have fun on their next rotations. I know that they're doing like some electives and things like that. So. currently eating my lunch in the break room. We've got coffee maker. So it's the weekend and I went to go visit places in Staten Island. So that's the bridge. This is Fort Wadsworth, which was part of the Revolutionary War. And it's like a fort that they used to protect New York Harbor. I'm currently cooking dinner. I'm gonna make some ramen. I think I'm gonna have half of this. I have some tofu and some spinach that I'm going to put um, sesame seeds and sesame oil in. And then I also just made a banana bread today. Let me show you. It's, I wrapped it up and I put it in here. It's actually really, really good. I'm kind of surprised because my sister's usually the one that makes really good banana bread.
Good morning guys, today is, I think it's January 31st and it still hasn't like fully snowed in New York but it's kind of flurrying right now which is a little bit strange because I didn't think that was in the forecast. This weekend I'm gonna go home. My sister wanted to get omakase because we haven't had sushi in a while so I'm really excited about that. I think we're trying out a new place called 13 Waters, which is in East Village, I believe. So <clears throat> if I can get some clips of that, I definitely will, but I'm so excited for that. And I'm also really excited to go home. I feel like I haven't been there in a while, even though I was there two weeks ago for Chinese New Year. Also, I was just like feeling a little bit under the weather today. This keeps happening because I keep seeing sick patients every day. Yesterday, I saw a couple patients with COVID and um, strep. So that's why I sound like this, but yeah, I'm gonna head to the office now and I'm running a little bit late. So Good morning guys. Um, remember how I told you that it hasn't snowed yet? It snowed overnight. I have to take all the snow off my windshield. Good morning guys. Sometimes I just like to sit in my car and kind of talk to you because in the house, um, I'm not really given that freedom i mean i can speak in the house but it's a little awkward just because there are other people living in the same area as me i just have the sense that i like should be quiet and not make so much noise if i don't have to today is thursday so it's my last day of the week tonight i'm gonna go back home because tomorrow is gonna be super windy and really cold and apparently my dad said that sometimes when the wind is really strong they close down the verrazano bridge because it shakes a lot so which makes sense um and they're just afraid that i won't be able to get home tomorrow so i'm leaving today after work um, which I originally like did not even want to do because usually I get out really late already and then I have to drive home which defeats the purpose of me finding a place to rent here. It makes sense um, if they think the bridge is going to close. So I'll be going home today. Um, tomorrow I'm going to stay home and study. Saturday I'm going out and then Sunday I'm coming back here. So it's like not that long that I'm home honestly and I kind of miss my bed which sounds really funny but it's true and then after this rotation I have my next one in the city and Tiffany has an apartment in the city and I asked her if I could rent part of her apartment and live I guess with her for six months six weeks and she said yeah so that will be another adventure because like i said this is the first time that i've ever moved out and like lived on my own away from my parents i never had the opportunity to dorm or to go away for college so this is that sort of experience for me and i'm also doing it while i'm on rotations so it's a lot to juggle at once but i think at my age i should gain that experience now rather than later on because it will only get harder from there and then also like later on there's things to worry about more responsibilities and stuff like that so i'm glad that i got the experience now even though i haven't gotten it earlier because truly that's what i wanted i really wanted to go away for college but circumstances just didn't work out because of financial reasons hint hint ut austin's tuition is way too expensive out of state but i'm currently wearing the figs scrubs that my sister got me this is the color dark cherry i feel like a lot of people at this office always ask me like which color this is and it looks really really nice in the light i think it's really pretty so a plus it is currently 6 47 i'm about to go home it says that there's a little bit of traffic so i'm hoping that it's not too bad but um, estimated time of arrival is around 8 o'clock. So, so I'm back home and I'm cooking now and I thought I would just talk to you guys for a little bit while I cook. Tomorrow I'm going to have my site visit so I'm going to have to present on Zoom. Um, my preceptor is allowing me to go in a little bit later and then make up my hours so that's what I'm going to do. I'm on Zoom. 
So I'm getting ready to leave for the office and every morning I always see this one guy like waiting at the corner and I don't know what he's there for but it kind of creeps me out so I, I want to film it just because I don't know what he's there and it really just creeps me out. So here, let me show you. Okay, so do you see him? He's like by the door um, and like every morning he will stand there and then kind of like walk to the corner by the car good morning guys so besides the fact that this is the last day for this week next monday is my last day with my preceptor because he's taking off for his birthday which would have been my actual last day um i don't know if that makes any sense but because he's not going to be there um essentially my last day with him is earlier because I'm gonna come in the next day when he's not there. But I'm planning on bringing things for the office just as a thank you because honestly, this office has been such a great experience. I've never had outpatient experience before besides the ER, but this is also a little different than the ER just because it's a small office. There's not like a ton of resources such as x-ray, CT scans, things like that. So the fact that I'm working in a place that's like family owned and everyone knows everyone um honestly all the ma's here know my name which is a little like how because in the hospital no one knew my name and everyone just assumed that i was a medical student but here people actually know that i'm a pa student and you know, they give me the respect that i think students should get and I really like my preceptor because he lets me do a lot and I just appreciate how much he values this experience as part of my training and my education. So I just want to bring a little something to show my thanks, but also it's like Valentine's Day-ish. So I'm trying to figure out what I want to bring. I was between two donut places, obviously. Um, if I was back home, I would try to get duck donuts. I don't really know if they have that here. I don't think so. But um, so I'm between Tim Hortons and Dunkin Donuts. I've never had Tim Hortons before, so I don't know if it's any good. But I've always wanted to try them. And I've always wanted to try the Tim Bits. I was hoping they would have the Tim Beebs, but they don't. Um, I think that's only in Canada. A lot of the parents already bring like goodies for the doctors and the people here just because of how far they will go for their patients um and i think that's really nice and it just goes to show like how much they actually care about the kids that they're taking care of so honestly i would ask you guys for recommendations but by the time this is up it will have already passed i think it's kind of crazy that this rotation went by so fast but the next one is also very exciting because I'm also not living at home. So on with the journey of adulting on my own and living on my own, I'm getting slowly adjusted to it, but I'll eventually go back home. Hi guys, so I just got home. It is currently 6.30. Um, I am heating up my dinner because I am starving. Like literally when I tell you um, the amount of patients we saw today and I was also helping to set the rooms um because they were running a bit behind on their patients i also received something kind of cool from my preceptor today medical related and i want to show you guys because i feel like not a lot of people know about this so it's interesting to know or like just have in the back of your hand as knowledge because um a lot of people know what epipens are um, we had a patient today who basically came in and told us that they found out they had an allergy and so they got their EpiPen and my preceptor asked like, oh, have you thought about getting the AviQ? And, um, the patient's dad said no, but I had never heard of what AviQ was, so I was confused as to what they were talking about. Anyways, my preceptor gave me a sample. This is just for training purposes so there's no actual needle in here there's no epinephrine but essentially it's the same thing as an EpiPen, just in a different form and what's really nice about the AviQ is that it comes um with instructions so if you take it out 
This trainer contains no needle or drug and is for training purposes only. Talk Do to you. not use this trainer during an allergic emergency. If you are ready to use, pull red safety guard down and off of this train. Place black end against outer right. thigh. Uh, and like push firmly mine. until you hear a click and hiss sound. And hold in place for two seconds. Two. One. Training complete. That's basically it. So, I thought it was really this neat. This trainer may be reused for training purposes. Replace... I thought it was really nice that it kind of explained it to you like that because it reminds me of the AEDs and that's like the machine that you see um, in the stores, in the mall, in schools to help um, give shocks if someone's heart has a specific rhythm and yeah I just thought it was really neat and nice so this is what he gave me and I told him it kind of reminds me of a cigarette box, which it kind of does. But I just thought I would share that little bit of knowledge with you guys because it was very interesting to me that this existed and I had no idea what it was. So I don't know if I told you guys this, but um, initially when I came to live in Staten Island, the landlady <clears throat> kind of like took me on a tour. Um, I guess of like the major tourist attractions and as a thank you I kind of wanted to like treat her to some food. My last day here is like Valentine's Day and I knew that a lot of people are probably going to be out in the restaurants and whatnot so I just thought it was better to go and pick up some food. My throat has been feeling a little weird today and I don't know if it's because a baby sneezed in my face yesterday while I was trying to do a physical exam on it, so that's great. But also, the weather has been kind of strange. So last week, it was 8 degrees, and today it's like 54, which is why I'm not even wearing a jacket and I'm going out. So I just picked up the order. Um, Ada, like, was the one who recommended me this place because she's been here before. It's called Avocado Sushi, so if you're ever on Staten Island, and you want to get some good sushi i guess she highly recommends this place i think everything is pretty much in here i got the three rolls i usually get spicy tuna spicy salmon and salmon salmon avocado and then for the landlady i got her a sushi lunch which is like i think five pieces of sushi and a california roll and both of them come with soup and salad 